<laughs> All right. Okay, Viego comes in though. Set support. Viego in mid, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And Perks has been playing over kill. He's not going to be a problem. But this top lane wave, if he wants to freeze it, he can. Could force a TP out of solo. Not going to land that face breaker either. So decent damage. Vulcan going to wait. Haymaker. And it's going to be, yep, blocking the damage from explosive charge. Yeah, Chime has actually been receiving a lot of punishment, but they're doing it on Ooh. purpose. Even though it's a losing trade, they've got the jungle. Early flash, flash follow. They're going to land the stuns, and that's going to be first blood. And the ignite, is it enough? Not enough to trade down. Yeah, I mean, th those things, I just love hitting on over and over because a lot of, you know, jungling is you have to remain efficient always, and your laners making trades like that, burning. Control. Dragon coming up in six seconds, and... Vulcan wants to walk in, but doesn't have the support network around him just yet. Now they're coming over. Now this could be the play. Stun coming up. Equalizer very nice and a three. Dunk comes across. Do they have the damage? Flash forced away. The stun. That could be a oh. kill. He's flashing to safety. The last team ignite's going to kill him as a blaze. All of kills him off with his own ignite. Thanks to okay. Half health or lower on several member. This can be tough because, yes, Perks can reset. He can go hard. Smite fight is going to be equal because 900 no matter what. Flash engage comes in, but Chime going to die, and he's going to come back in as Leona. Perks is very tanky. He's a Leona. It's not easy to kill. Ults over the wall gets away. That engage goes wrong. It does mean the dragon at the very least, but it is still a kill handed back. Now it's time for Solo. Flash ult comes across. Do they have the damage to kill him? They certainly do. The top winner comes in and finds yes, himself. Advantage uh, made good on his TP down towards that dragon play and is just looking to pressure. Bit of damage back and forth. Needs to get the hyper off. Can't quite do so. Thank you. Move speed slow. Fudge still wants to fight. He's at half HP, but doesn't seem to care. He's getting a bit low, but he might find oh! a solo kill. Woo! It's probably to die at this point. It's a pretty late Rift Herald. It might just die to the charge itself. 2500 is about the damage you're getting out of this. We'll see if it gets one shot. It does. So that is no one getting the gold, by the way. No one touched it. So the four... They've got them surrounded, but Dragon should fire. get finished up. Okay, Equalizer on to two. Smite battle going to be in soon. Early Smite still claimed. Iconic gets it, and now the team fight has begun. A flash away from Iconic stays alive, but one for zero so far. It's King picks it up. The sleep. Now you've got more coming across. Perks is Zoe. He's good at that champion. On his sticks say they go. The double kill comes across for King. And now this turret is going to belong to Cloud9 as well. Perks dives in. Ult comes across. Gets all the resets. They're going to get the ace. you got to believe it. Triple kill comes across. There's all five. Blabber loses his life. But Oh, what a team fight for Cloud. It just looks like pure tank right after the shield bow. And I think it actually makes a lot of sense. They're going to look for damage on a perch. Takes a big chunk of damage. Ults away. Shield bow popped. Did they have the damage? Oh, that is a great equalizer. Onto the stun. Stick say just roasting down and gets killed off by Blabber. Second half, though, is Solo on the Meganar. Can't find the damage. Now Blabber a bit low, but Iconic doesn't have the damage on Tank Udyr. So Cloud9 are going to clean it up yet again. The kick back. The Q lands. <laughs> Perks has taken that kill. One finally goes back. And a flash force out of a blaze olive. Full HP, by the way, for Perks. Doesn't quite find that stun, but he's still on the chase. Well, difference, still only 3,000. Not insurmountable, but it is a meaningful Cloud9 lead, especially with a four kill Kai'Sa. That's going to feel real comfortable. Top it under only a little bit of fire. Looks like they will let Tristana knock oh. that turret down. So Stixay going to get a solo turret. Now Chime in a lot of danger. Flash over the wall. The blaze all doesn't find much. And Chime, he flashed to only be found out by Perks anyway. Gets stunned up, puts the shield on, but King about to be in range to chase one down. Probably they find that kill. He's running. They flash for it. Lock it. Pop. Doesn't matter. They get that kill. And Iconic is still on the way out. And this would be soul point for Golden Guardian. So it's a huge one. Ocean Soul can do a lot to turn back the team fights. It's not a really fast burst. So the Ocean will do a ton. TP going to be spotted now. They know where Perks is. Chime going to be attacked. But Leona is tanky. Stridebreaker gets Fudge out of the stun. Here comes the dunk. Hits a couple for the slow. Equalizer over the top. They find Tristana. He's able to rocket jump away. But Iconic is just out of health. Flashes should barely stay alive. Fudge can't reach him. But the killer! Oh, what a shot. The W from downtown. King finds himself the kill. And now it's time to get a little bit more done because Golden Grand is going to 4v5. Now Vulcan's low, so is Perks, but can they get enough done? They find that stun. The flash is safe. The stun's not going to be enough for Chime. They get the kill on a Vulcan. Ignite is off, okay. but they're not going to get any more just yet. The kick comes in for Fudge. Pops to Zonia's Hourglass. Keep the blaze off alive. Tristana finds another. Six Day is still fighting. Six Day is still alive, but here comes the rest of the damage. He's going to fall asleep, and they might just find that kill. No! They stopped oh. hitting him. They stopped hitting him. They let him get the kill on Trist. He woke up. That point oh. is on the line. Well, Rumble is alive. Blabber has the smite, has the ulti, but doesn't have the vision. And that means, I believe, he might have... So just 
walks out of it pretty quickly, and now another attempt. That's a good time of the ulti. It prevents the sleep from coming through. Ulti is coming across, but only hits Chime. Not that important there, of course, that happens. Solo, Meganar into three. How good's the frontline fight, though, because Iconic has to come right back out. Fudge, Ward hops away, stays alive. Is there a re-engage, though? Can they find any more damage? Blaze all gets an extra flash. Looking for the next sleep, looking for the next bit of damage. They could just push this mid wave and get priority there first. Maybe favor him a little bit, but Cloud9 should still generally own the map. Sure, a couple things will go down, but Cloud9 can fight before then. Now, Golden got left on that rage bar for the Mega. Yeah. Can they force him to go for the play? Right now, Fudge on the outside of the pit, watching them go forward. Still half health. They know that one now, and now it's Mininar. Now go. But that's going to be enough maybe to force Here them comes to Vulcan turn behind. around. He's Blabber still tanking. Blabber. It's going to be Vulcan going in for the dunk. It's the first engage. Blabber very, very low, but they find that kill in a solo. A kick back. A Blaze Allo stays alive. Fudge does as well, and Chime drops second. And it's time for Perks to set up his team. You've played bot lane. You've played mid lane. You've played support. As he finds <laughs> the stun, he finds the kill on the stick, say, as Vulcan claims it. And it's time for Gold. Pick going. up the Baron on the back half of this. Honestly, th this this has actually been such a fun one. Oh, I okay. always keep my options open for random steals. It's not going to be a case this time around. That one, knock down two inhibitors. That's my expected situation there. Chime Hex flashes out and doesn't get hit by Lee Sin Q, but still going to be chased in. Vulcan going to find his stun. Not going to go ahead and waste the ult. They just have the chase down. No problem. Six deaths now for Chime. Had the lead in the lane, not doing well now. Yeah, looking good there. And Perks is pushing in the mid lane. With one member already down, you really do feel like the chances of defending this are slipping away very fast. The tier two mid is gonna go down. The bottom lane inhibitor tower is gone. The inhibitor likely to fall. Give that one away. You now look at the other lanes. Can you find any poke? Not really, not gonna mean enough. Inhibitor gonna drop now on these few auto attacks whenever they choose to walk up. And yeah, King gets to go for one. Cannon's dying, actually. But you've got Viego pushing in mid, and right now they're ignoring that. So in fighting for a dead inhibitor, they are giving priority onto the mid lane. That turret's dropped down to three quarters already. They finally show up now, but Perk's just going to walk away without much issue, and the siege can continue. Mid lane was not cleared, which means another inhibitor is under a lot of threat. Equalizer going to prevent the re-engage. Blabber knew he could have been a target. Second inhib turret is dead. Inhibitor itself now going to be the easy one to go for. King walks up, no problem. Stun going to be found out there. Perks wants in. They get the chase down. One auto will kill him. A flash. And the chase in. King finds it. Stunned out of the turret, though, and he's going to be locked down. He goes one for one. That's not the kind of trade he wants. Some explosive charge claims the last hit, so Stixay goes one for oh one individually. The chase in for Fudge once again knows his limits. That team fight is now one, two to one. I love these long nice. leases. And then, honestly, Cloud9 can just turn around and grab Baron with the gold lead they've got. It's going to be some heroics for Golden Garden to turn it one around. His top lane tier two finally falls. It's time to siege for the inhibitor. No Baron buffs. The wave clear is not going to be too hard, but the team fights are still very, very difficult on Golden Guardian's side. Waiting for those supers to come in. Time Please. is on your side. Here we go. Stun lands big damage. Sonya's pop, but they find a stun in the back line. King has to ult to get away. A flash for Blabber keeps him alive, but King is down. Equalizer buys a lot of time. Second sleep will land onto Viego. Doesn't ult to get away. Second stun comes across. They're going to find a lot of lockdown, and he finally ults away. Stays alive for this one. Dunk comes across, but it might be Vulcan just doing it to keep his team alive. Has his Sonya's hourglass. Burns a stopwatch. Re-engage. Will they kill him? It's a one for one so far. Three the chase heads. comes in. Perks has resets. Has to ult right back out, though. Blaze all of Adazonia's trying to run away. Does Golden Guardians... What a huge team fight. The long-range bubble caught Blabber, and they had the follow-up... Right back into mini, so he's going to have to build up his rage. And they're rushing down Baron fast. They're going to have Iconic around. 3k health. Here comes the fight. Dunks right in on the Mega Nar, and that's going to blow him up instantly. And now, how about the re-engage? King is low, but he is not dead. He can look for the fight again afterwards. Is the re-engage good? There is a sleeping rumble. There is a dead rumble. And now the chase on a Vulcan. Puts on the shield. Not going to matter. Stun's not going to help him anymore. Time to oh, run away. For the base. TP is going to be matched, though, as they're going to have a Blaze Olive show up as well. They'll lose an inhibitor and not much more. He is going to get it. He this gets it on the way out, but it's going to be a scramble. Baron started up by Golden Guardians. Perks has to run his entire TP. way there. Teleport comes in from Bud. Budge and King, the Australian duo. Perks They're is going behind. In. They're going in. They're going to have Fudge. They're going to have Perks. They're going to have the big play. Stun, kick. They're looking at Iconic. They've got a ton of damage. He's going to buy a few more seconds. Rand wins in a lock as she'll keep him alive. A flash for Stixay. Dodges the Lee Sin Q. Zonius for Fudge. Going to get him almost nothing. Flash to safety. Tries to stay alive. Now the sudden of Perks. He doesn't have good ways to get away. Ignite is on. The chase is in. A Blaze Olive finds one. Perks going to find himself dead. That's going to be three unanswered kills. Nars holding the base. This Baron's a freebie, or is it the base instead? They're 
going to go for the base. That's a minute respawn on Perks here. Golden Guardians marching down mid. They do have Equalizer to try to kill the wave, so I'm not sure if they can end, but they're going to look for it here and look at the potential flank. A blaze! All of Zoe Bubbles are turning this around for Golden Guardians! And that wave will not die. It is aimed too far forward. It does not catch the whole cannon minion. Either way, there's a reinforcement coming. So they're pushing for the game right now. 20 seconds on the last three. Here comes the dunk. How good's the play? A blaze all back on the back the line. Vulcan just trying to kite them. And yes, as you mentioned Azale, they got the wave. They'll find a kill, but they will not find the Nexus turrets. Oh my goodness. You, you hear the tales of the Zoe Bubbles and the Battle Star, <laughs> the Battle Star one shots. They're a reality. They're going to try in the 5v4, a Blaze Olive's rookie year. They bring in two new players, and Golden Gun is about to start the summer split with a win over the defending LCS champions. Wave cut again by Equalizer. Zonia's pop, 5v4 going to be tough. He is Meganar, finds the double stun, finds the Meganar, and he's going to find himself a whole heap of kills. Fudge trying to kite away, Solo getting a bit low, but buying enough time as Fudge is now attacked. He's got a shield for a few moments. Decent damage and a giant, but not enough to stop it. Minis in the base might not be enough, but be careful that the kill comes across as now King is dead. There is still a wave, but it's being reinforced by the dead mid inhibitor. Once again, we're going to try his very best as Vulcan goes for the face break, but he's not going to save the base. Golden Guardians take down Cloud9. Ten taken down first to kick it off here in summer.